Hello YouTube and welcome to a monthly plan with me for the month of January. This month I will be using a kit from Ben's Design Company. Um, this kit is really special. It is the first time that Ben has done a matching monthly and notes page. I do have the matching notes page. I filmed a video of the notes page but I don't love the way the page came out. Um, so I decided not to include that video clip here, which is why I am now doing 200% speed and doing a voiceover instead of showing you the video as I originally filmed it. Um, so obviously the first thing I had to do was to place down the big strips that go across the top of the page where it has the month and the days of the week and all of that information and now I am working on putting in the little date cover dots. Um, I really love the colors of this kit which is the only reason I am actually using the date cover dots. I typically don't do these in my monthly spreads. I'm not a huge fan of them to be completely honest because of exactly the reason you're seeing <laughs> right now it takes forever to put in these dots and my camera clearly does not enjoy filming this because it's doing something weird and making it kind of difficult to see what's going on. But so I don't use these very often um, but when I do have a kit like this one where I just absolutely adore the colors that are used I will go ahead and put them in anyway. Um, probably was not the brightest idea to be completely honest just because it did take me so long and I was kind of doing this on a bit of a time crunch. Um, I'm actually filming this and doing this voiceover in the beginning of December instead of waiting because I'm going to be spending most of December out of town. Uh, I go to my mom's house every year for the holidays. She lives about 600 miles away from where I live. And so pretty much the day we get out of school from or for winter break, I'm going to be packing up my car and heading out to her house for two weeks. Um, so it's a really nice time to spend with my family, but it does make December a little bit more stressful. So now I am just finishing up the last couple of days of date dots. Next time I do this, I totally need to pull out the tweezers because it takes so long to get this done. Um, so next piece of the puzzle is going to be the washi strips to cover the dates that are not in the month of January. So we have Sunday, December 31st, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which are the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of February. So I love this unicorn that goes on those February dates. I think it's super cute. I totally didn't notice it when I first uh, was looking at the kit trying to do this plan with me so I was very excited when I found it and then of course I had to do the polka dots on December 31st because I adore polka dots so they do match the colors of the kit even though that's a pattern that's not seen anywhere else. Um, so now I'm going to go work on the notes bar. I did originally try and use that light blue box first but I decided I did not want to have that on top because of how dark the flag that was pre-printed is. Um, I did make a mistake and order the colorful instead of the neutral because I disliked that the neutral had no headers. Kind of regretting that now but it is what it is. Um, so I put a sticker on the top of the pink box that I just put down to indicate that that box was going to be to track my pay for Jamberry. I am a Jamberry consultant and I do get paid every Friday that I have sales for and then also on the 10th of the month if I make bonus. So I wanted to have that in where I would have a place to track that. Uh, the light blue is going to be for books that I finish in the month of January because one of my goals for 2018 is to read more. I did not do very much reading this year and I kind of regret that. And then the corally peach box down below it is for keeping track of the Korean dramas that I finish watching in the month of January. I shouldn't have that many so that's probably something that I will not do in future months um, but it was just kind of the first thing I could think of that I could put in there so I don't know we'll see. We'll see how many I have. 
Uh, so I believe the next thing that I go to do is put in my paydays. Um, I get paid on the 15th and the last day of every month. Um, however, if the 15th or the last day of the month falls on a day that the bank is not open, we get paid the working day prior to that. So that one that I just put on the 15th is probably actually going to get paid on the 12th instead, which is the previous Friday. Um, but I decided not to move it after I put it down because I just wasn't positive. Uh, so once I got the paydays in, I went in and put my labels for Tuesday meetings. So I am a teacher, and we have meetings every single Tuesday. Um, the school I work at is a middle school, so we stay until 530. But I believe elementary school teachers only have to, or no, not 530, 5, sorry. We stay until 5. I believe the elementary school teachers only have to stay until 430. Apologize for that. I was looking at the time bar and not thinking about what I was saying. Um, so I put one of each of the labels down. Here in just a minute, I am going to pull up that glitter label that I have on the fifth Tuesday. Um, fifth Tuesdays are professional development days, so they're a little bit different than our typical Tuesday meetings. We only have like four of those, I believe, a year maximum. Um, so... I wanted to do something a little bit different for that, but then I changed my mind when I remembered that the 17th and 18th are exam days. I have to give an exam on those days, final exam for my class, because that flag that I put down just a moment ago on the 22nd, I believe, is indicating that the fall semester will be over that day. Um, for whatever reason, our district has the calendar set up so that the semester end is in January. It's very weird to me because when I was in school, semester end was always the day we left for winter break. So I'm not really sure why that's done this way in this district, but it is. Um, so then I replaced that glitter label with another one of the hot pink labels like I have on January 2nd. So not sure why I decided to tap my planner for so long, but I did. Um, so obviously now I have written in everything that I need to write in. I did realize when I was doing the writing that January 2nd is actually not a work day for everybody. Um, if we worked over the summer for swap day, we do not have to go on the 2nd. So I don't have to go on January 2nd, which is kind of nice. Um, so, but instead of peeling that label up, I decided to just leave it and use it to mark the swap day. I did try to peel it up and it kind of ripped the paper just a teensy bit, so I changed my mind about doing that. Um, so the reason it's taking so long for me to do anything in the video right now is because I was looking for some pencil stickers that I have that say no school that I purchased from Birds Fly Studios. I decided I wanted to put those on the first and the second, and I actually probably, now that I'm thinking about it, need to go in and put one on the 15th as well because we don't have school that day either. Okay, there are my pencil stickers. Um, but I do need to go back and put one on the 15th since we're not going to have school that day either because it is the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. And I'm just putting down the sticker on the first and the second. Um, I decided I wanted to cover some of the little snowflakes on the first because I wasn't a huge fan of them, but I didn't want to cover what it actually said. All right, and there we have my completed spread. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.